this is Jasmine right here. I mean, absolutely a monster. Uh, the performance has been exactly what we predicted. Exactly what we predicted. Uh, Friday, today is Sunday. Friday, I made this video. Well, not that I made the video. Friday during the live stream, we talked about Jasmine. And, you know, I told you a big move was going to come uh, very soon. I told you that I was very bullish. You know, I showed you the reason why I was very bullish. We looked at the chart of Jasmine and, you know, we talked about a 70% pump that was coming. What we have right now is, you know, the 70% pump that is actually playing out. And you can see, you can see where these candle, I mean, you can see the price, you know, during this recording. But if we look at the chart of Jasmine right now, uh, you can see what the last, you know, 48 hours, uh, you can see where the price of Jasmine is right now. Uh, we, I mean, we are still, you know, within the same week, but you can see how massively bullish, you know, this weekly candle. Uh, you know, you can see how massively bullish this is if you look at this weekly candle. So over the next couple of days, uh, I mean, over the next couple of weeks, not days, because this is going to take weeks, guys. This is going to take weeks. Uh, this entire move right here is going to take, you know, a couple of weeks. If you look at the last rally, we have one, two, three, four, five, seven weeks, right? So Jasmine was in a basically in a bull market for seven weeks, right? If this is a bull, let's call this a bull market right here. I mean, not a bull market like, you know, 12 months of, you know, crazy price action. But this right here was basically a mini bull market for Jasmine. So what I think we are going to see over the next, you know, five to, I mean, over the next four to five weeks, we are going to see a continuation of this rally right here and you know in terms of price targets i mean this is my target right here we are going to push all the way up you know to retest this upper blue band and if we go from the current price i mean all the way up here this is a 30 percent move right here but if we push all the way up here all right which is you know where the resistance is uh, we can actually extend this this is a this is a 50% move right here. All right. So since since this update right here, you know, Jasmine has basically pumped uh 20%. So you know if you get into a position after this update, you know, you are already in profits. Uh you look like a genius right now, uh, which you know you are a genius because I mean this thing was crazy bullish, it was very clear. Uh, you know, during this live stream right here, that the price was actually going to take off. So, you know, getting into a position was the wisest thing that you could have done on Friday. Uh, even if you were to get in right now, you know, I still think, you know, this is a great place to get in as long as you can hold on to your position for, you know, the next four to seven weeks. Uh, we are going to see some pullbacks on the lower time frame. But any pullback on the lower time, it is going to be an opportunity to go long on Jasmine. So this is a weekly right here. And just look how beautifully bullish, you know, the weekly time frame looks right now. If we go down and we look at the daily time, all right, this is a daily time right here. Uh, I mean, absolutely ridiculous. If you look at this daily time, all right, just look at this setup right here. You know, when, when you're looking for a bullish setup, this is exactly what you want to see. And when you're looking for something that is going to have a sustainable trend, you know, a sustainable uptrend where the price is going to continue to go up, this is exactly what you want to see right here. And you guys may remember when the price of Jasmine was right down here, you know, recently when Jasmine was right down here, I made it very clear that you had to be accumulating, you know, within this range right here. 
because Jasmine was going to take off, you know, very soon. This is two weeks ago. So if you got in, you know, right down here, I mean, you already up, you know, 25%. And I just want to make sure that I'm very, you know, transparent. So you guys know that, you know, what I'm showing you is something that we actually talked about. You know, this is not, this is not me trying to, you know, trying to, uh, to tell you something that we actually didn't talk about. Uh, if we go back, you know, about two weeks ago, it's right here, guys. About two weeks ago, you know, I put, I put this update out and, you know, I talked about what an opportunity it was to accumulate Jasmine, you know, within this range right here. Uh, if I go to the weekly, you can see the setup right here, guys. You know, this was the weekly setup. You know, we were exactly, you know, within an accumulation zone. So if you got in, you know, congratulations. Uh, all you had to do, of course, was to be a little bit more patient because, you know, great things are always going to take time. But things are looking good right now. And any pullback, I mean, any pullback, you know, within the next couple of hours or within the next couple of days is truly an opportunity to long Jasmine. So I'll be looking at some opportunities, you know, every time we get a pullback. Uh, if you go down to the lower time, let me just show you what the lower time frame looks like. So this is the four hour time right here. Uh, if you look at the four hour time, I mean, in terms of where the price of Jasmine is right now, we are actually, you know, overly extended and, you know, a pullback to retest these levels right here would definitely not surprise me. And I think we are going to see a pullback, but you shouldn't be afraid of a pullback uh, because the pullback is going to provide an opportunity to long this project. The reason why a pullback is not something that you want to be afraid of is because you have to zoom out and you have to look at the higher time frame. If you look at the weekly, the weekly looks bullish. So basically, the way you want to play something like this, your, we your weekly time frame is where you take profits from. So you take profits on the weekly time and you use your lower time frame for entries, right? If you don't understand what that means, this is exactly what it means, okay? Your profit targets are right here on the weekly time because the weekly setup looks really bullish. So what that means, because this is the weekly time, is that things are going to take time, right? For the price to push all the way up to these levels, it is more likely going to take a couple of weeks. This is not going to take hours. It is not going to take days. It is going to take a couple of weeks unless somebody was to pump this thing, you know, all the way up to these levels in, like, in a very short period of time. But if this is going to be, you know, organically, if this is going to play out or, uh, organically, then what you want to do, you want to set up profit taking right up here on your weekly time frame, and you go down to your lower time and you use, right, you see how extended we are on the four hour, you use pullbacks, you know, pullbacks as an opportunity to add on to your position. So again, your higher time frames, that's where you take profits from. Your lower time, that is where you take your entries. So right now, you know, the four hour, so somebody that trades, you know, the four hour time is taking profits right now. And this is why you have the price pulling back. But if somebody's trading the weekly time frame, you don't take profits right here because your profit targets are right up here. If you trade a weekly, there is absolutely no reason to take profits right now, okay? Because the setup looks very bullish on the weekly time. But if we go down and we look at the four hour time, Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm teaching right now. If you go down and you look at the four hour time and you trade, if you trade the four hour time, you have to take profits right now. And the reason why you take profits is because it is extended. We are way overbought 
right on the four hour time so the price is more likely to pull back but a pullback right is not something is not something to worry about because your higher time is in an uptrend so a pullback it is basically you know just the price you know cooling off because those that trade the lower time frames are going to be taking profits but once the price you know resets again you know this is where you want to be you know getting in again so watch out for this pullback on the four hour time frame you know if you go down and you look at the one hour time you can see we are actually pulling back if you look at the one hour time frame but what you have to keep your eyes on is the overall trend right now we are in a very clear you know uptrend uh, let me show you what that looks like you have a continuation of higher highs and higher lows right and this is exactly what you want to see from you know a project that is more likely to continue to push up right so i'm bullish on jasmine uh, jasmine looks really good and a couple of weeks from now i think we are going to see the price of jasmine you know right up right up here you know retesting these uh these resistance right here so congratulations you know to anyone who's in a position right now uh you're more likely to see massive gains if you continue to hold on to your position uh now if we do get right up here i think you are going to see you know we are going to see some you know some profit taking and we could potentially get a pullback but this is you know this is an update for a different day you know talking about the aftermath you know and what jasmine is more likely to do you know once we get here i think this is going to be an update for a different day and that is something that you know you all are going to appreciate but that is jasmine right there uh you know really nothing else to talk about i mean the thing looks bullish right now we more likely you know to continue to go up uh can you be a fake out absolutely you know this could potentially be a fake out we could potentially you know start to pull back to these levels right here but you know as long as we stay within this range right here you know as long as we stay between the orange and the upper blue band you know the price of jasmine is more likely to do something like this